starting my day on a chocolate note with chocolate waffle and hot cocoa in my cute little very retro looking mug. So yes, that was my breakfast. And as I mentioned in my last video, which was in Slovak, but I'm going to do uh, vlogs in English from now on. Uh, I tried two or three in the past, they are available, I think, on my channel anyway. But I want to try to do more vlogs and more English vlogs. I would like to do uh, weekly vlogs, meaning I would film and vlog... Oh, my arm. <laughs> I would vlog Monday till Friday or even till Sunday and the new videos will be available every Tuesday from now on. Previously it was every Monday, but I'm going to do Tuesdays. But it's already Thursday <laughs> and I'm just starting this weekly vlog, so God knows what will be from it. But I feel like I have a lot of things to uh, tell you, since if you don't, uh, if you are not my like Slovak or English speaking follower, um, you basically don't know why I want to vlog in English, why I vlog in English and stuff like that. But I still have my full-time job, so I'm not going to be able to vlog very often or to do crazy stuff. But just little bits and bobs, uh, which I want to show you um, around. Yeah, so we'll take you with me from now on. We'll see <laughs> what I get to show you. And um, yeah. I just saw something on the Instagram and um, I thought it would be nice to discuss it but you can see you can see the windows in my in my glasses shall I shall I see maybe maybe here yeah so you cannot see the windows uh I just saw something and I was thinking like, let's have a little mental health chat within this video because that's something I would like to do to talk more about mental health and to do like dedicated videos about like personal experience and stuff but I haven't got there just yet in terms of my own feelings of being prepared for that talk but why not to include it within a vlog so I just saw something on the Instagram which was along the lines like uh, what comments people make uh, like generally, what comments they use in uh, like regards of mental health in general life. You know when you say things like oh I'm so depressed, I'm so anxious or you are so OCD and stuff like this. When you use um, like mental health related comments to your personal feelings which are very much normal but you are kind of like abusing real mental health illnesses and issues for saying that you are for example stressed about something then you say you are anxious or you are depressed when you are sad about something you know it's very different to be anxious to be depressed whereas to be sad and to just feel kind of like not really good uh, and it hit me like really hard because I absolutely hate when people make comments like that When people say oh my goodness, I'm so depressed and I'm like, why would you say that? Like I have never been depressed personally But why can't you say just I'm so really sad and I feel really bad and like I'm feel like I'm mentally really low why to use mental health illness and condition and like disease to say how you feel you know you don't say like I feel so diabetes <laughs> when you feel I don't know low in energy you know what I mean I hope I'm making sense but it just hit me really hard and I was thinking I should maybe do like TikTok or something like that but even though I like TikTok and like I like creating videos for there. It's a platform full of kids and teenagers and don't get me wrong, but I, I don't think they would really get this kind of stuff and I am in no need of a low of a low <laughs> of a lot of hate comments. Yeah. So yeah, just wanted to say this and I absolutely hate it when people say something like that to me. Like the other day when I 
I had like a glass of uh, wine for the fifth day in a row and I was feeling really anxious and I knew it was because of the alcohol or when I have like a coffee and uh, like alcohol in one day or when I have like three coffees a day or if I drink alcohol like more days in a row not meaning that I overdo it, I can have just like two I can have just like one little glass a day but a few days in a row I can start feeling a bit anxious because like caffeine and alcohol are kind of substances which really play around with your nerve system and I have like panic disorder and I have it like confirmed from a doctor that I have a panic disorder and uh, that day uh, I was feeling just so anxious and I said to someone like I'm feeling so anxious like I know it's because I held this glass of wine now for the like fifth day or sixth day in a row and I just feel so anxious and they told me oh don't be anxious nothing bad happened like just be cool I was like yeah okay first of all you can be cool when you die okay <laughs> You are. You don't have to be cool when you are not dead, do you? And it, it just really hit me because you know when when someone has um, diabetes, as I mentioned before, and that's the disease which is most of the times on my mind when talking about stuff like this, because my brother has diabetes, and he has it, even though he's. Like, he has diabetes when he's happy, he has diabetes when he's feeling content, he has diabetes when he's not happy, he has diabetes when everything is great and when everything is bad, and when he, when he feels bad because his, like, um, blood sugar is low, like, everybody is like, oh yeah, like, that's so sad, I'm so sorry for how you feel. But when I have anxiety or panic attack, literally <laughs> nobody cares and everybody says like oh don't overreact don't be so anxious like why are you so anxious like your life is okay you have always had a good life why are you anxious or why do you why do you have to take tablets and i'm like okay okay yeah cool makes zero zero bloody sense to react like that to people who have mental health illnesses and diseases my panic disorder is not illness, it's regarded more like a, I don't know, like a like mental health condition or something like that. But it's there, like my brain is ill and doesn't work properly in one aspect. And that's just it. But my brain is like an internal organ and when you have bad liver or lungs, or heart, or whatever, inside of you, or even outside of you, like when you have something with your limbs, for example, you take care of them, and you take tablets, and you try to solve this. So why not to do the same for your brain? When it's, the, it's the most important organ in your body. It just directs everything. So... Why do people have so many prejudices when you take care of your brain? And you know, they say like, do like spa days and try to be mindful and take care of your mental health. But they don't mean like, take care of your mental health issues and illnesses and diseases. So, I don't know, it just hit me really hard. When I saw that picture on Instagram and was like, yeah, I have had this in my life for so long, like, I have had panic disorder for like 10 years now, or maybe even more. And yeah, it just, it just, it hit me quite hard that it's a fact when people react kind of they react irrationally when they say stuff like I'm so anxious and don't be so anxious and yeah <laughs> but they don't want it to sound too 
sad. And obviously, I also sometimes say things like depressed or, or anxious, but I try to use these words not so often. I know it can, it can sometimes just slip out of your mouth because you are so used to hearing people say it, like obviously, it's just the way you talk. But let's just try not to talk like that and let's just try normalize mental health problems. Brain diseases, my brain is ill and that's what it is. That's all. I look awful, <laughs> but I want to show you something guys, which is on my balcony, which I feel so grateful for to have. I spent, I spent a lot of time there and yeah, I'm going to show you and then tell you, but I'm not going to talk on the balcony because of neighbors. So I have a beautiful new outside couch kind of thing and it's a beautiful sand trap there so there is a lot of sun almost the whole day and I can just sunbathe and read and do my crosswords <laughs> and whatever I want just chill and sleep and I had to catch some sun today there because I just felt so down like I don't know why but I feel so sad today for no apparent reason just that a lot of emotionally heavy things are going on right now but none of them is like super 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 tough or like super bad for me I don't know just had to catch some sun and read a book and now I'm going for a ball my parents are on their way here and they are going to bring me homemade sushi so I will ask them like if they can wait for me and I'm, I will go for a walk with them. We'll see about that, how long have they been outside already. And yeah, after that I really want to have like a chilled one because I, I just crave my routine. Like I just crave, I crave my routine like I really do. Especially when I feel low, I really want to clean a cage for my hummy, hamster. And uh, yeah, I just want to have children, I want to go for a walk, then, then do some yoga and pilates and uh, bake myself some baguettes with cheese and watch my fave show. I will show you what I can show you, but yeah. Just need to have a really chilled and very routine evening. Yeah. And then tomorrow is Friday. And yeah, I will probably go, I don't know, for a coffee or something outside. Just came back from my walk. I took my parents <laughs> because they brought me some food and the sushi, which I'm going to help these or two uh, before I do some yoga. But just wanted to show you my uh, outfit, my look, what I usually wear when I go for walks. So I have just my leggings, sneakers and this hoodie, which is like... Oh, warm from inside and my waist and obviously a cap because I don't want to spend, ta spend time doing my hair or night or night uh, I don't want to spend time doing my hair so I just put it like that into a into a ponytail and a cap and uh, yeah going to have some sushi and then going to do yoga but I really needed this walk because I was feeling so down, like so incredibly down, but then now I feel so much better and the trees are starting to bloom and um, we went to see the castle and there was a beautiful sunset, so yeah. Much, much happier now and um, let's have the sushi. It looks so bloody nice. Imagine that this is the first time my dad ever did sushi on his own there is um avocado and cucumber in this one and they also brought me the soy sauce so let me see <laughs> if i can taste this i love i absolutely love the smell and taste of this soy sauce 
and I don't have any sticks, not that I know how to use them. So let's do it just like just like this, shall we? Mm. It's so so bloody good. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. It is the best sushi I have ever had. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Weird noises, I like to make weird noises, <laughs> but that is so good. Mm. I'm going to have one more and then do my yoga, and then I will show you what I like to watch and what I like to eat when I need some comfort food. I'm out of shower, just waiting till this chocolate heaven soaks into me and just leaves like you cannot really see it like this, but it leaves like um, oil, like oil on your skin basically. And this is just so good. It's like it's like a mousse. Do you call it mousse? Like, yeah, like mousse. It smells like chocolate. I smell like chocolate now. The texture is incredible, and I really like love this pot as well. I will for sure use it once I use this all. Oh my goodness, this is also such a good product. Yeah, nourishing body souffle, souffle. Okay. Yeah, and it really has that texture. The laptop is ready for me to watch something. The candle. <laughs> I light the candle. Still look totally bonkers. But I feel so much better, guys. I really just felt so low. I had like thoughts like, mm, what is life about? Why am I on this planet? <laughs> and I was just really down today. And now I feel so much better. I did a little um, gentle like face peel. But my skin looks really bad because, yeah, I had my period and it um, doesn't look too good. But I know that I have like phases, it looks bad, it looks good, it's going to be well. Anyway, I am in my clean pyjamas, I opted for these Hogwarts Harry Potter themed ones. And uh, yeah, so this is just your little reminder that if you feel down, do something that you love that you know will make you feel better like face scrub and put body butter on fresh pajamas go for a walk and have coffee meal you know what is a coffee meal yeah so i'm going to show you uh, what i'm going to eat and i'm going to watch either hmm, we have four options always we have youtube videos we have uh, the reality show called Survivor, which I know is like a world well-known one, but we have it for the first time in Czech and Slovakia. Or I can watch a series called Nemocnica, which is also for Slovaks, a uh, hospital <laughs> in a translation. Or I can watch Emily in Paris, season two, which I haven't watched all of that, so yeah. How to make my choice, but I'm also looking at these beautiful tulips I got today from my mom because I mentioned to her that I'm feeling really down, so she she gave me tulips and um, yeah. So let me show you what I'm going to eat. Basically, when I feel down and I need comfort food, or when I don't feel like eating, like I sometimes have these periods when I just don't really want to eat. But I'm hungry, obviously, and this is one of them. I don't really crave that much food. All I crave is like a lot of bread <laughs> and cakes and stuff like that. So let me show you this, but I'm just going to take it out and flip my camera. <laughs> so I'm going to have this cheese I usually buy from uh, Lidl. Also cheese in this oil, but it's a uh, Greek cheese. But this is the like cheese with the uh, white mold. And oh my goodness, this was enough, I, I don't know, like limited edition for Lidl or something, even though this is not their brand, obviously. But how good, how bloody good does this look? And I'm going to have bread. I will dip the bread into the oil and eat the cheese and I'm also going to open myself 
a bottle of uh, wine. Oh my goodness, like... Th this is life, guys. This is life. <laughs> I'm going to have this white bread which my parents got for me and it's so soft and squishy but delicious, but oh my goodness, I cannot bloody wait. And yeah, oh my goodness. Good morning, guys. Today is a sweatshirt and shorts kind of day, but I'm not going to show you my full outfit because I'm not shaved. And it's just me in here, so I don't care, but you could care. Just made myself a huge, uh, um, this thing, which is like a French press thing, but this one is really bad. I have a new one and way better one for my coffee, but I use this for uh, mainly like herbal teas, but I made it for my black tea now, because I absolutely love black tea with sugar and uh, lemon. And let me show you what I use. I use this. This is lemon juice from Concentrate and it doesn't have sugar. This is from Lidl and Lidl also, also sells one with sugar. But I bought this version without sugar for the first time. I don't know how long ago and it still has quite a bit in it. And it's so great because usually um, I either cannot make black tea, cannot make black, black tea because I don't have lemon and it's not good without the lemon or oh, the lemon would go bad if I had it so. This is a great option um, for my black teas. So yeah, I have a huge cup and I'm just going to let it cool down a bit. I usually make a tea every morning, um, whatever kind of tea, I just fancy, I just make it. And I look absolutely deep. As always, I should have the camera probably like further away so I don't scare you. And my skin is so bad. <laughs> anyway, yeah, just wanted to tell you this. I was prepared to have my sushi for lunch, but my mom told me that they are going to bring me some lunch. So I'm probably going to have a duck. And they are, they are also bringing tiramisu. So that should be a lovely day. <laughs> my parents told me that they will bring like few more things, but I was like, no guys, do just the duck and tiramisu and the rest you can eat yourself because I have so much food and no like belly space to eat it and I have now like my time of year <laughs> because I sometimes have these like periods when I don't really like want food <laughs> I obviously feel hunger but I don't want to eat and if I want to eat I usually want to eat like bread and like pastry and sweets and stuff like that so I don't know a lot of things is going on and I just feel kind of unsettled so that's probably why I don't really have my appetite right now but yeah it's going to come back tulips are doing great and what's so cool they have even like orange D things inside of them which is so cool and they are so beautiful so beautiful in this light on the like camera screen the picture looks, looks just so great and my little hummy is still in his filthy cage with his filthy wheel <laughs> oh i just need to clean his cage but he wasn't up yesterday evening he was just sleeping till i went to bed and then i could hear him rolling around but i was already in my bed so have to wait for his little appearance, don't I? Looks scrumptious. Tiramisu is already in the fridge, cooling itself away. And I have duck, duck breast with the mashed potatoes and um, also soup, but not going to eat that one. I was able to clean his cage, so he has got some new toys in, but mainly his new little house and I just <laughs> cleaned this thing as well. So yeah, he's making himself at home. I am now able to use this little makeup station I made for myself in here out of this little computer table which was previously in the um, kitchen, my living area. But now I can <laughs> kick around, but I can do my makeup in here. And the light in here is obviously much better than in the uh, bathroom. So I'm really happy about this and yeah, I'm going to do a full face of makeup since my skin looks really, really bad. I also have 
or candle in here and these dried flowers but I wanted to show you this makeup mainly the MUA Makeup Academy and this is, yeah, this is matte finish foundation I'm going to show you the finish result but this is so good and bet it's going to cover my pimples and I use this makeup sponge when one part is wet the other is um, not wet, dry <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to do my makeup and we'll show you the result. So it comes with this little scoopy thing, so you can just scoop the makeup with it and put as much as you want onto your face. Let me show you like this. It's obviously a bit um light. <laughs> it's obviously a bit light, so I will probably need to use darker shade once I get a bit tanned. And I just look. <laughs> But yeah, it uh, covered all the spots quite nicely. Obviously, you can still see a bit, but I'm not the one to go like for really harsh makeup just for my skin to be like so smooth that nobody would know that I have pimples. But I have some, and I put uh, more um, foundation on the pimples as well because I didn't bring my concealer here. So yeah. That's the result and I'm going to finish my makeup. It literally takes me like two minutes. <laughs> I used a bit of blush and uh, mascara and that's it. Now I'm going to do my hair, prepare my outfit and I haven't even told you why. But I'm coming out for the Friday evening. Yeah, I'm going for a coffee with my parents <laughs> to the city center. But I told myself I'm going to do something every single Friday. I can go to the city with myself, my parents, my friends or I can stay home but do something nice like good dinner and wine and things like that. I, 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 I tend to do nice evenings and wine and cheese so anyway during the week if I want so but Fridays, Fridays evenings are for me and myself and my friends and family and my mental sanity. <laughs> Makeup is done, hair is done. Now, this is the worst, worst, no worst, but the worst thing. Oh, to figure out what I want to wear, because now it's quite warm, but I know we will be longer and so the sun will come down and it will be colder again, but what to wear? So, I'm all ready to go. I decided to go for these uh, black, like, fall leather trousers. They are more like, um, you see these, like, shiny, jeansy things. And I love to wear these ankle boots with them because they just create this, like, smooth, sleek look. <laughs> and I went for my denim shirt, which I have had in my wardrobe now for, like, five or six years. But I can see it's very in fashion right now, so... I wear it every season, I'm probably going to wear it even more this season and then I went for my Calvin Klein crossbody bag just because it has the like um, blue hue I put on some basic solid gold hoops and also a little bracelet, my usual rings and I'm also taking um, my winter jacket when it will, will be colder so just going to stand on my carpet so yeah that's my look of the evening and let's go i really crave espresso with milk and sugar hi guys <laughs> i am all washed and settled to watch something I again look very pimply and it's, oh my goodness, it's so bad and actually I don't mind not very makeup but this is so bad that it's irritating even me, yeah. But <laughs> um, I did 10 minutes of up workout, I did 15 minutes of yoga, then I jumped to shower and now I am in my pajamas and I'm going to eat the sushi for my dinner. And I also put the soya sauce into that so I can eat it better and more easily. And uh, yeah, I was just attempting, attempting to buy myself a train ticket 
but it's not working. Like it's, it's so great when people invent something that should make your life easier, but it's just not working. So <laughs> that's stunning. Previously, I could buy 20 kits very easily. Now I have to attempt like three to five times, and sometimes even that doesn't work. So I have to go tomorrow morning to queue in the train station to buy my train ticket. <sighs> I need to go to quarter to 11, no, it's half past 10, I think, train to another city because I'm going for a barbecue with my friends, but in another city, so yeah. Have to take that train because I also need to buy something in a like food store in Lidl's for that barbecue, so yeah, just going to enjoy my sushi, go to sleep, and oh, I also need to set my alarm, so I will wake up and get my bus to the train station, get the train, and then we we'll walk. I also walked, I also walked quite a bit today. I went on by foot to the city and from the city. I am all ready to go. I had my breakfast. I did full face of makeup, which is not usually something I do when I go for like casual things like today that we are going to f we are going for barbecue. I wouldn't usually put makeup on, but I just feel like I need it now. So I did. I put on makeup as well because my hair is kind of greasy, but I also want to put coconut oil onto my scalp once I get home before I wash it tomorrow. So yeah, and I put on all black outfit. I don't know if you can see properly, but I have like black leggings and this black tank top. Um, yeah, I'm also going to do hoodie and a vest. And here is my backpack ready to go with me and my hoodie and... Uh, yeah, the only thing is I have to put on my new white sneakers because I don't have any sneakers with me in here. All of them are in my parents' house. So I'm going to hope I won't spill anything, any grease or anything on them. So yeah, that would hurt me. Uh, yeah, we'll show you the full outfit in a second. And then I need to catch the bus and the train off. Oh, I was able to buy the train ticket yesterday at like uh, midnight. <laughs> it finally worked, so yeah. Don't have to queue uh, at the station. All ready to go. <laughs> have my backpack on. My sneakers. I quite hate that the leggings are too long on me, that they are a bit like rushed. Rushed? <laughs> rushed in here. And you can also see a bit of my dotted socks, but I don't have any like sneaker socks with me so far and yeah this is my vest which I bought last year and I just love it the color and everything so that's my let's go barbecue look which is also kind of um which is comfy but also practical because I can put this into my backpack and I can strip this off and have it just over my shoulders and um yeah, also nice colors, I think. So it doesn't look that bad, even if you like need to go by train and stuff, it looks nice, but it's comfy and practical. 